Bang, bang. Odd foot look. If you want a little room, you don't want them to fit tight, you gotta go up half a size, I feel like. I like my shoes fitting tight, so I go three to size. So if you have a wide foot, definitely go up half a size. But I love these. I think these are so crazy, especially for the holidays. Give me that IG look, bang, bang. IG, bang, bang. <laughs> let me know what you think of these. And if you're watching this after Christmas Eve, let me know if you landed a pair of these or not. I hope you did. I hope you did. Subscribe. And you know I got to hit you with that. Infamous. Birds eye. So infamous. Oh, I love Christmas so much. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Yes. This is the new format. We show you it on foot looks and then we go live. Some is pre-recorded. And as you see right here, I'm live and direct with the Grinches in hand. This is not the retro. This is the OG, but this is. So they come with two sets of laces. But I personally, I personally like the red laces better. Do you like it like this or do you like it like this? I personally like it with these laces. I think with these laces, this is the move right here. Definitely the move. Definitely. And one more time, let me show you them on feet for people that are just walking in here. Actually, let's do a check-in. Let's see who's in here. Leave it, leave it in the chat. We got Pamira in here. What up, broski? We have got Mr. Chicago Bulls, 1996, which was such a good year. He writes, they released... They release on his birthday. Yes, December 24th. And we're going to get into that momentarily. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about advice on trying to get your pair. So we'll definitely do so. But let's get that out of here. Let's see what's going on in here. Sold my DS Grinches only because I never thought I'd wear them. Two months later, Kobe passes. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, I like wearing these during the holidays. Uh, I think that these are just such a fun pair of kicks to wear. Um, I would like a new one because it is beginning to show some wear to it. Um, but, you know, if I don't, I'm not going to be salty because I have them already. Chris, what's up? I will join soon. Thank you, man. Yeah, we have the membership. Please join if you could. Definitely is a great thing. And we also have Super Chat, of course. And Cash App um, going across the screen and also PayPal. Um, says, what do you think if they did a matching jersey? Um, I think it's too much. Too much, you know. Some people like to go head to toe matching. I, I don't, you know. I would, you know, I, I would be honest with you. I'll usually, when I wear these, I'll wear like a all black. Just straight up all black, you know. Um, but I always wear basically all dark colors. This is very rare. You see me in a gray shirt. Um, I'm usually black head to toe with, you know, there'll be a graphic on it. But, um, you know, if you want to go all out, you know, shit, you could actually buy the Grinch Halloween costume and just, wait. <laughs> I'm just being the dick. I say it with love. I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe one of y'all dress up like the Grinch for Halloween and wear this, right? <laughs> Joe Dizzle, what up, man? You got early access a little while ago? Damn. Already? How? You're lucky. Damn, you're lucky. Let me show you what they look like on feet one more time for people who are walking in. Because we're live, so let, let's do it again. Ah! Bang, bang. Odd foot look. If you want a little room, you don't want them to fit tight, you got to go up half a size, I feel like. I like my shoes fitting tight, so I go three to size. So if you have a wide foot, definitely go up half a size. But I love these. I think these are so crazy, especially for the holidays. 
Give me that IG look, bang bang. IG, bang bang. <laughs> let me know what you think of these. And if you're watching this after Christmas Eve, let me know if you landed a pair of these or not. I hope you did. I hope you did. Subscribe. And you know I got to hit you with that. Infamous. Bird's eye. Phew. So infamous. Oh, I love Christmas so much. Ah. Oh. Ah. Man. So I, I hope you guys have your luck with this. Now, if you want this, there'll probably be some raffles, you know, online raffles. But I have a feeling that this is going to be mostly online. Um, this is actually from the actual Nike launch page. So we could take a look at the official images right there. And um, they look basically the same. Even the insole looks to be the same as the actual... Um, OG, because I'm, I'm holding it right here. Maybe, yeah, I got to see him in person, though. Kind of looks like over here, maybe a little bit, like, darker. Like, the, the bottom end of it, where all the bumps are popping out, looks a little lighter on this one. But all in all, man, sick pair of shoes. Um... I don't wear these except for Christmas. Once in a while, I'll, I'll break them out in the summer, like maybe once just to throw people off. You know what I'm saying? But um, I recommend them. They're amazing. They're absolutely amazing shoes, definitely. So if you're able to get your pair, um, shit, man. I mean, I know there are going to be people that are buying them for the flip. Um, is anyone buying them for the flip or no? Ali Frazier, what up, man? What's going on, homie? Let's see what else we got here. Good morning. I ain't lying. Good to see you in here. Salute to everyone watching live. Um, yesterday, we did a video on these, which I keep praising. Check out the video on foot of this shoe. Uh, this is one of my favorite pickups of the year by far. Um, you know, I woke up today and I was like, I, as soon as I looked at them again, I was like, man, this is this is such a sick pair of kicks, like such a sick pair of kicks. So one of my favorite releases of 2020 by far. Um, what a sick pair. I love how this whole back looks, man, how, we, how it pops up here, goes in. But watch the video. Watch the video. I, sh I show a great on foot on the shoe. I'll give you a quick teaser. Quick teaser of those, and man, <laughs> you guys are going to be upset. A lot of people are going to be upset on Christmas Eve. That's foul, right? How foul is that? They released them on Christmas Eve. Um, and you know what bothers me, too? Why not release these, like, now so that you could get them to wear on Christmas Eve, right? Like, you would think that they would release this, like, maybe last week. So we could actually enjoy these on Christmas for the people that don't have them. They always do that. It, it never makes any effing sense to me whatsoever why they do that, but they do it. I think also the reason why it's darker here, I think it's from me wearing them a lot. It's probably dirty now that I think about it. So it probably is lighter um, if I would clean the damn shoe. I've never cleaned them. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see. I feel like those checks may snap off. Well, you know what? I am not going to be the one to see if they do. <laughs> if you have a pair, go for it. But I am definitely not doing that. I don't think they do. I definitely don't think they do. Not me, got them via exclusive access this morning. Wow, that's crazy. Why couldn't I get exclusive access to them? I mean, I have them already, so it's no big deal. I would love to get, like, exclusive access to the LeBrons. Like, that would be dope. Or maybe even, like, um, these neons here. I really want the neons, you know? Definitely do. 
Let's see what we got here. Might snap. Yeah, they're going to break, bro. Let's see. But, yeah, man, just a quick vid. I, I'm not going to hang out too long unless there's something y'all want me to speak about. I really just wanted to show you guys an on foot look and actually show you guys the actual official images of this shoe right here. Oh, your friend got it and missed? Damn. That's got to be more aggravating than not even getting picked, right? Like, for that to happen, I would be so pissed off. I would be so pissed off if that happened to me. Oh, can you imagine? You have exclusive access that hits you with it, but you're like two hours late. That That's a freaking burner. Oh, I, I would be furious. They never give me that exclusive access. I never, ever get exclusive access like that. I wish. I wish. Um, but nope. Let's see. Those neons are going to be hard to cop. Yes. Uh, but you know what? The infrared 90s, which I have here, they've restocked these a ton of times. The infrared 90s, they, they definitely have restocked these a bunch of times. So it may not be as hard as we think. I think that the 90s, are, the 90s are more popular than the 95s. That's me personally. Dude, that's, that's the worst scenario ever. I would be furious. I mean, I would be so mad if I woke up and it says, you have early access. And, and I was late. Like, oh, my God. I may, I may throw my phone. And I, I'm not that kind of person that does that type of stuff. But if, well, if I, I wouldn't do that to this because I have these already. But if it was like the Bruce Lee's, like I'm, I'm every day I wake up, I'm like, should I buy the Bruce Lee's on StockX or one of these sites? Um, but I, I say no, but I may do it today. I may buy it for, re how much do you think I should spend the most on the Bruce Lee's? Um, if you guys can help me with, with some advice. We got a super chat that came in from George Poindexter. He says, sup. He says, sup, chat. What's up? He says, Dells, I can't believe it, but Nike blessed me on the Kobe early release. Wow. Good Lord. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Unbelievable. Give it up for my guy right here, George. Oh, man. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. The ultimate compliment has to bring out the ultimate Tells. What's good is George, man, for that super chat. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a great day today, and I hope you have a great week. I know today you had a great damn day, George, because you damn what got these shoes going to your casa before Christmas on Christmas Eve. Yo, George, if you wear these on Christmas Eve, definitely tag me on your Instagram. Use the hashtag DJ Dells, DJ D E L Z, and I for sure will like and, and you know comment on your photo. And uh, for those that don't know, my Instagram and my Twitter is over here on the screen right here. So make sure to you know follow all of that. I, I posted mad links to PlayStations today. I know I helped out more people with the PlayStation today. So man. It's a beautiful day, definitely, especially for George scoring that, because that is some luck. Y'all are lucky. Y'all are lucky. Let's see what the chat has, says. I have a DS pair. What are the Bruce Lees? Shout out to Mr. Cochran, a Patreon member. We have the Patreon. Definitely join. You get exclusive content and giveaways. And thank you to Mr. Cochran for being a member. Salute to him. He's part of the reason why we go live all the time. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Salute, my friend. George Major W. Yes. 
Oh, Kobe, no, I need the Kobe 5, Bruce Lee. I had the Kobe 11 already, but I, I dirtied those up. I had to get rid of them. He says, same, I've been holding off on the Bruce Lees and was going to pull on the pull the trig, but um, got the exclusive access. To okay, so you're going to pass now? Are you passing now on the Bruce Lees? Um, I don't know what the, what the high is, what I should spend the most on. Is 300 too much to spend on Bruce Lee's, do you think? Now, I did sell a couple of pairs of shoes, so I have money to buy them. My rule of thumb, every time I buy a pair of shoes, I got to sell two pairs. You're welcome. I ain't lying. I'm still over here shaking. Oh, yeah. And you're my size, too, I think. You got early access, too. Damn. How much is resale on the 7 and 7.5? I don't know, but I have the link to StockX in the description box if you'd like to check out. I don't know what the requirement is. You know what? It just has to do with luck, I think. Um, for people, let me ask y'all this question. Let's do some research together. For people that got early access, how many pairs of sneakers have you bought in the past five weeks? Maybe it has to do with how much money you spend, right? He says, I would spend up to 350. Okay. Yeah, I'm thirsty. What's wrong with that? Water is life, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> seven and a half you should wear them shits jesus these things are fire wear them they look amazing on feet ah! bang bang on foot look if you want a little room you don't want them to fit tight you got to go up half a size i feel like i like my shoes fitting tight so i go to the side so if you have a wide foot, definitely go up half the size. But I love these. I think these are so crazy, especially for the holidays. Yeah, they look crazy on feet, man. They look crazy on feet. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to get up out of here. Unless you guys have, you know, anything you want me to speak about, then we'll speak about it. Send a super chat. We'll hang out a little longer. I really just wanted to show you guys um, them on feet and, and give you a look at the official images of this shoe. Uh, this is a major release, one of the big releases of the year, I would say. This is a shoe a lot of people dream of having. I know my boy Cochran over here, Mr. Cochran, he's always wanted these. So um, I hope that you're able to get your pair. I really do, because as I like, I he's a Patreon member. If you're a Patreon member, I you know I've known him for like two years. We do exclusive shows there with Q and A. It's like I know a lot about the dude, so I, I hope he he gets his pair. I hope all of you get your pair too. You know, um, and on the stream, I'm getting to know a lot of you too better, which is awesome. I think y'all are beginning to get to know me better, which is pretty dope. You know what I mean? Versus um, a five to ten minute review where I'm really generic and trying to stay PC. I don't give a damn no more. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to kind of be a kiss ass to try to get, um, you know, the brands to send me shit. I don't need the brands no more. Um, the truth of the matter is the brands need us content creators. And I'm going to stay true to you all. And I'm not going to, you know, um, sprinkle sugar on shit. If I see a pair of sneakers that suck, I'm going to say they suck. And if the brands hate that, which they do, so be it. Because I'm here for you all. I'm here for you, 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 and even the asshole over there that hated and hit the thumbs down button for you too. Because I know you love me. That's why you come here first and hit the thumbs down button like a weirdo. <laughs> I was sick earlier. I caught the LeBron drop on end. What the hell, dude? You better go play the lotto or something today. Wait a minute, they released the LeBron 8 on end? What did you say? One thing I've seen is Dell's has no filter. No, I don't. I never have had a filter. Never have. But when you're live, 
I can't, you know, when I used to do my videos, I'd be like, oh, I can't say that. That's inappropriate. And I cut it. Now I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna get my money regardless. Look, I may not get endorsement deals with 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 Champ Sports or one of these guys, but I, I got an endorsement deal with Dutch Masters, which I bet is cutting a bigger check than than um Champ Sports or one of these guys. I would love to to do a deal with with those guys, but there's money for me, for my character, for my personality. There's money out there for me, and I'm getting it. Trust me. So you know, I'm gonna keep it a hundred all the time. I'm not gonna sprinkle sugar on shit, man. I'm not gonna do that. I can't do that, man. So this is what you're gonna get here. If I see a sneaker, I think it sucks. I'm gonna tell you the shit sucks. Don't buy it. And, and that's why Jordan Brand used to send me everything. They they don't send me nothing no more. Because they don't want, they probably scared they send me something. They don't want me. I bet you they don't want me to do reviews. You know, they may pop a bottle when they find out I pass away. You know what I'm saying? They may pop a bottle and say, thank God, this guy, he's always such a pain in the ass. He keeps telling us the quality sucks and, you know, don't buy them and, or, or. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't think Jordan Brand wants me to die. <laughs> But yeah, make sure to watch the review on these. I praise these. These are so good. These are so good. <laughs> these are so dope. Um, one of my favorite pickups of the year by far. Um, yes. Yes, we do love them. <laughs> Man. And check out their Instagram. They've been posting a lot of stuff, stories of me. Check it out. You'll start seeing more and more of me on that Instagram, um, especially next year. So you'll be seeing a story. They shot a, a mini film, like a mini documentary on me. Um, they, we actually filmed that about three weeks ago. So um, the uh, Dutch Master should be playing that documentary on their website. It's probably going to be a three-minute short flit, short thing. But um, it was pretty cool. So definitely um, check them out. You know what I'm saying? If that's your thing, you know what I mean? If you want to watch that. But I, I'm sure I'll post it on my social media. Oh, hell yeah, man. Well, hold on. I got to hit a button for my guy, Chill Town. Good Lord. That's awesome. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is my boy Chilltown, who I know is going to really appreciate these shoes, got his pair today. That's what's good, man. Happy for you, man. Happy for you, bro. These will be coming to, you, to your house before you know it. They're so crazy. Man, you lucky, bro. Yeah, congratulations, man. Yeah, I can't believe I took the W on these. I freaked out. I freaked out when I uh, got these. I, I really did freak out. I actually have the video loaded. On. It's rocking. Okay, come on. Come on. Give them to me, baby. Please, please. All right, I'm in line. I mean, I have the feeling like I, it's like uh, this pending shit is the worst. The pending is the worst because you'll be pending for forever, right? If you catch that W, it's usually it's quick. It comes quick. That's what she said. That's how it works usually, right? It's just like, bomb, you in there. This pending for forever. I almost want to cancel and try again. It's the absolute worst. He said sold out. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's, it's, he said, oh, I'm pending right now. But, you know, dude, I'd be happy if I got these. But I'm not getting them. I know it. Soon as I hit that shit, I knew it. It seems like, you know, I can never hit on the limited shoes, you know? It's always the GRs. I, I'm good. Oh, ooh, yo! Yo! Get out of here! We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Holy shit! Stop fucking playing! They're so crazy, bro. That was one of the most epic moments on this channel for me. Because that's how crazy I'm about this dunk. So that was a sick, sick moment right there. Unbelievable. And what I always think is unbelievable and amazing is when I get these things that come in, the Super Chats, uh, which is so special to me. It's the ultimate compliment. And um, you underground kicks. Uh, you ground kicks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man. Good Lord. That's awesome. You ground kicks with a Z. He says, my early access Christmas present di um, died the best sneaker channel on YouTube, Dell's Rules. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. You the man. You the man. Appreciate your time, too, coming through here, watching, and the donations is a big deal. Thank you so much. The ultimate compliment, got to bring out. You ground kicks, we got to bring out Ultimate Dells. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is you ground kicks and DJ Dells, the sneaker addict. We here, baby. Salute to everyone in here. I hope y'all having fun. It's an early stream. I don't know if I'll stream later, but I just feel like since they finally, they finally put it on the damn page and there was the shock drop, it was only right to give you guys that on foot look. Because my awful look from before sucked. Let's get real. These released like 10 years ago. My camera sucked. My camera still kind of sucks, but what are we going to do? We can only work with what we got. We got to work within a budget. I'm hoping eventually I'm saving a lot of these super chats so we can get like the banging webcam. Like, But that thing cost a lot of money, like the banger where it looks like really good, like professional wise. So we're working on it. What's this? Oh my goodness. Yo, man, everyone always coming for um this dude. They always you you always got people coming at you, bro. <laughs> Paul White, what up? He says, dope sneakers looks amazing. Congratulations. Hell yeah, bro. Thank you, man. Come in insulting supporters makes people. What are you saying? I'm insulting people. Who am I insulting? Who did I insult? Did I insult you? Who did I insult? I'm confused. Did my am I reading that wrong? I probably read that wrong. Yeah, he got no early access. I'm jealous of everyone getting early access. Dude, I've gotten early access maybe once and it was for like a pair of like Air Maxes or Air Force Ones that I could, could give two shits about. Like, I could care less about, man. You know what I'm saying? I never get early access. I don't know what you got to... What do you got to do to get early access? That's, that's the question. What the hell do you got to do to get... Does anyone have any idea of what you think you have to do to have early access? Or y'all don't want to share that information? How do I get the Kobe? So the Kobe's will release on Christmas Eve, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Sneakers app. Download the Sneakers app, of course. And also you go to the launch page, which is just nike.com backslash launch, um, which I will eventually link in the description. And I will be posting more on my um, on my uh, my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. That's my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. He said, send money. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I thought, I think um, Perm was saying I 
I'm insulting my viewers. Did I read that wrong? I don't. Did I say something that upset people? I don't think so. I think I read that wrong. Come in insulting supporters makes people not want to come and support no more, in my opinion. Explain what you mean by that. I don't think I insult people. You probably have to throw the knee pad on dog. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. You have to put the lace uh, laces under your pillow at night to get oh to get access. You got to pray to the sneaker gods. Did um anyone pray to the sneaker gods for the early access on these? What? what? I never ever get early access. I've been lucky lately. I've been lucky lately. That's for sure. Oh, okay. He's addressing the troll in the chat. I see what you're saying. Oh, Lord. Sneaker X. What's up, Henry? Did you have early access today? <sighs> yeah, I try to not read all the negative stuff. Once in a while, I hit the button by accident. I try to ignore it. But be nice. let's let's try to keep it at a minimum the um the back and forths right let's let's not talk about that crap because it takes away from from it all you know what I mean um is there anything y'all want me to speak about I'm thinking about going you know we're here a half an hour I really just wanted to cover this story with these shoes and and give you the on foot look um. I think you have to show consistency on the app and check their stories. I think so too. And I've been trying to do that more often, like watch all the little um, videos they do and the documentary stuff, which, which is good, you know? So he says, I tried Joey, no go. Oh, Joey's trying to get those Kobe's. That sucks. I know Joey got, I know Joey gets his shit, you know? Yeah. But, you know, the thing, the trick to trolls is just to not acknowledge them. I always say that trolls cannot breathe life and breathe air if you don't let them, you know. It takes you to make a troll alive, you know what I'm saying? If you just ignore them like they don't exist, then they don't exist. Their objective is to get under your skin. So if you respond to them, you, you keep them alive. If you don't respond to them, they're gone. You know what I'm saying? What can they do if you just don't acknowledge them? You basically erase them. You have to buy a lot of sneakers. Yeah. You definitely you definitely do it's looking like. I think you have to be super active on the site. And um let me ask you guys a question for the people that got the early access. Did you guys like and and click the um notify me button to get not to get the early access or you guys didn't even click the like look over here I'll show you let me unclick this real quick you see how there's that notify me did you click that and then you got the early access later on how did that work no doubt bro you, you just gotta ignore them. <laughs> yeah, you know, two days shipping I stopped doing because of the fact that they they weren't sending them in like two day in two days. So I was like, forget about it, man. I'm done. Like when I bought the Jordan 11, the new one that released, I didn't do the two day shipping. But yeah, man, it, it's gonna be a difficult task to get these. I wonder. Um, let's see if they're selling on um, Foot Locker site. Where's Foot Locker? Right there. And then we'll go to the releases. Let's see. Oh, so they have the LeBrons on the site. That's good to know. So uh, you can't even see pictures. So they will – wait a minute. But they pushed it – okay. So this is good information right here. And this is why you got to hang out on the streams because – on Nike's site, they pushed it back, but on Foot Locker's site, it's saying the 15th. Wait a minute. No. That makes no sense. Today's the effing 15th. Okay, so it got pushed back. 
Dude, time is flying. I didn't realize today's the F and 15th. In stores only. So you may want to see if it's at your like house of hoops. You may want to see that. Let's see where the Kobe is. I'm shot. I forgot today's the 15th. I mean, I don't even really pay attention to the days. It's like Groundhog's Day. I do the same shit every day. Do the same exact thing every day. I went too far, like a jamoke. Okay, so it is available right here. Look, it is available right here. So it will be releasing on Foot Locker, which probably means it will release also on um, Foot Action, and also it will release on East Bay. So we know that for a fact. So if you're looking for the shoes, then, um, you know, shit. You got other options. And I will post links, tons of links, where to get them all on my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. I'll have a listing of all the different retailers where you could go get your ass over there and buy the shoe at The Sneaker Addict, The Sneaker Addict. Um, I also have a new T-shirt that's available that's linked below, inspired by the Joker and Taxi Driver. It's, a, it's some artwork I put together uh, that I did myself. Uh, so if you'd like to pick this up, you know, I basically did the artwork and then, you know, I put it on a tee. So if you'd like to purchase it, we have long sleeve. We have also uh, short sleeve and hoodie. All right. For real. Oh, shoot. What is that? <laughs> did I get you? Did I get y'all? I like to do this. Did I get y'all? So yeah, so they'll be they'll be over on Foot Locker and all the other sites, and um, hopefully you know maybe at some of your local retailers. Hopefully, let's um, cross our fingers. That'd be great if that would be the case. Uh, let's get back to um, Nike's launch page real quick. I think I may have those Jordan Elevens at my front door right now. Mo, what up, dude? I think I actually may have those at my front door, those um, Jordan 11s. Let me check the tracking real quick. If I do, then maybe I'll run downstairs and um, see if I have them. Let me go to Nike's site and um, let me know, guys, what sneaker are you excited about picking up next? Obviously, these... Um, Grinches, but is there any other sneaker that you're like mad excited to, to get your hands on? I'm curious to know. Because I'm pretty much good right now, I think. Um, I can't think of anything else that's releasing. I'm not going for that damn um, auto lace sneaker anymore. The, the more I look at it, the more I don't want it. So I'm good. Um, I'm straight up. I'm so good on that one right there. So not interested in that. Um, and I, it's it's not even the price point. I know for some, some heads are saying, yo, the price point's crazy. They, you know, they um, they charging way too much for it. But that's not the case for me. It's, it's not really that, to be honest with you. Um, so, oh, it's in transit. Okay, so the shoes ain't there yet. Yes, I, I want those, man. I really want those LeBron 8s. That's one. I forgot. Oh, yeah, there is a bunch. Yes, those those dunks are crazy. You're right. I forgot. See, there's so much releasing. It's ridiculous. It just don't stop. It don't stop, man. Okay, yeah, I want those too, Dribbles. I love those new um, Skechers. Yep. The Shape Ups, the Kim Kardashian ones. Yes. I want those too, bro. Those are so sick, bro. The Kim Kardashian shape ups, dude. Those are those are fire. Um, let me see if I can pull up some images of those Kim Kardashian shape ups. Yeah, those are sick. Let me see if I can pull images. Oh yeah, here they are, dude. These are crazy. Yeah, these are sick. They, I mean, you know, they're kind of feminine, but, you know, they say real men wear pink. So I, I'm going to try to cop those. I think those 
release um I think they released on New Year's Eve. So this could be, you know, a good start for um the new year. If you're looking for these shape ups, they're fire. Oh man. Crazy. Sneaker of the year. Definitely sneaker of the year, maybe. Dope pair of kicks. I hope you're able to get your pair of dribbles. I really do. You know, I want you guys to get your sneakers. I'm not a hater. Why, you know, some people hate when people catch the W's. They get jealous. Not me. I want you to get your shape-ups, bro. That's just a crack, though. Yeah, the bots will definitely eat up all them shape-ups. The Kim Kardashian shape-ups, hell yeah. Those are sick. I mean, I prefer them over the LeBron 8s and the Grinches. So, yeah, man. Let's see what else is on this real quick. Let's see. Everyone going crazy over Stussy um, collaborations again. Huh? And this is a plain Jane sneaker to me. He even looking at it like, yeah, they're okay. All right. He looking like he's like looking over the Stussy and being like, man, look at those Grinches. <laughs> Chinclettas. These are beauties. More Chinclettas. These are so sick. I'm like, these are sick. Can't even talk. Dude, I never get access on the Sketches app, ever. It's it's harder to buy than Nikes, man, for real. My son wears the Kim K shape of Dope, bro. Dope. They're supposed to make your legs stronger, so maybe your son will be good in sports with those, you know? That would be good. I, I'm you're, you're a good father. You're a good father. I wish more fathers would put Kim Kardashian shape-ups on their kids. You're a good man, and I respect you. <sighs> Awful shoe, what? I know you ain't talking about the Kim Kardashian shape-ups. You must be talking about these dunks. These dunks, these, these are, this is shit compared to the Kim case. Absolute shit. No doubt. Man, I was hoping those 11s were coming in. I kind of wanted to unbox them. Nike take it forever. Should have done that two-day shipping. Every time I do two-day shipping, it comes a week later, though. Swear. Oh, nah, the Stussy. Oh, I was going to say, if you're talking about the Kim K's, you crazy. I'm Kim, Kim K's a fire. One shoe, though, that um, I think is amazing um, and way better than the Kim K's of these. This may be sneaker of the year. Now, this is um, not officially the Yeezy, but this was a guy who put this together. Inspiration, you know, he put this together, this inspiration, the Yeezy. And he made these prototype looks. These shoes are amazing, right? Aren't these the hottest shoes ever? Can you imagine wearing these? Can you imagine the panties are just going to be thrown at you if you got these? Wow. Oh, man, this is my dreams. This is, this is better than the Jordan 11. This is better than the Jordan 11. I think that this shoe... Better than the better than any Jordan that ever came out. Better than any LeBron that came out. Um, this is an amazing shoe. Uh, so hopefully we will see these one day. I don't see nut sacks when I look at these, but Drizzy does. Yeah, I don't see that, bro, but I love you, though. Pause. Um, I do see, like, shark teeth on one of them. And I'm just – 
Dude, I've been trolling for the past hour. I mean, for Christ's sakes, these things are hideous. Let's get real. This is these are these are horrible. I mean, the Kim K shake shape ups. I'm dead serious about, but uh, these are damn. Shits are crazy. Joey ducking my sketches in the battle. Yeah, these are horrible looking. We did a video yesterday roasting these, which was pretty funny. Check out yesterday's video. Oh, my goodness. They going in, bro. Yeah, these things are nuts. Daniel Blake says he wants all three pairs. I think he made a mistake. I think he meant to write heart signs. I remember talking to him earlier today, and he told me how much he loves these. <laughs> He's throwing a puke sign. <laughs> oh, man. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I, I would love to have these. Uh, let's see. Another shoe I want next year, these. These are sick. I don't know about the way homeboys wearing the, the jeans over the tongue, though, and over the shoe. Uh, I don't know about that, boss. But uh, no cap. I just, I, I can't do that. But who the hell am I, right? I'm sure all of you are wearing your Air Jordan ones like this, covering the high, which we, see, my thing is, look, I like high top Jordan ones, right? So why would I put this shit over it? These tight ass jeans, and you know that's not that's not easy to do. His jeans are literally like his legs got to be bruised when he takes those jeans off. He may even take his jeans. He may even put his jeans on. He may have to lay on his back and like you know you ever see females do that shit. This guy going up kicking my ass now. I don't even know whose picture this is. I found it on the internet, but uh, man, them things are tight. He on that rock star Tommy Lee wave. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yo, the trolls are at, I, I think Zaya isn't live, so they all come in here. <laughs> Shout out to Zaya. Shout out to the Section 8. We love Section 8. I do. I consider sex and Section 8 TV. But yeah, man. I really like these shoes. Does anyone wear their jeans like this? Over the tongue. See, on, on one side, he has it over the... It's so confusing here. So it's like he's wearing a low top, but it's a high. Mm. And he don't cuff the see. I I would cuff the bottom of my jean. I'd be cu you know rolling that shit most of the time. He on some other shit though. He on that fashion shit. Dell's thinking twice about those shirts. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, section eight T's. Oh yeah, we got the section eight T's. We got them. Listen, if y'all having fun, that's why I do these. I'm here to make it to have to give y'all some entertainment. That's why I'm here. Shit. So if you guys are being entertained by this flockery, then we good. That's the ammo. That's why we here. This T-shirt, y'all need to pick up. That's linked below. You get this T-shirt, you're going to break more necks than the freaking any sneaker in your closet. I'm telling you now. You get this T-shirt or the hoodie or the long sleeve, you're going to break a lot of necks. That's linked in the description. Trust me. Get that T-shirt. I'm telling you now. You don't fit in skinny jeans. I don't think anyone really fits in skinny jeans. You got to make them fit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to wear skinny jeans, why not just wear spandex at this point, right? Wear leggings, right? Just let them, like, I don't get it. But, hey, whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy. 
it, you know it's only a matter of time before you're going to see grown men wearing leggings. It's going to happen. Straight men wearing leggings. Straight men wearing leggings. I don't judge. Wear what you like. I'm not, a, I'm not one of them people that judge. You like wearing it, makes you feel good, then go for it, man. Rock out. You know? Who am I? Cortez and skinnies. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, you you right there. Like when you wearing this, hold on, let me pull that image back. Where's that damn image at? You right there. Like how much how much more air is in there before you wearing leggings? You know? <laughs> you see MFers with the leggings on, man, before you know it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He says, don't disrespect my skin. He's good. Yo, wear them, bro. Wear them. Wear them with pride, bro. Wear them with pride. I ain't mad at you. And wait, you know what, what the, the wildest shit is, man? And maybe this is just showing my age because I see heads, and they're, they're mostly young that do it. They be wearing these tight-ass jeans like this, but then their ass is out. Like completely out. I mean, boxers showing. I'll be walking with my kids in the mall or at the store. I don't want my, what the fuck you got to show your booty for like that? Like it's the weirdest thing ever, man. You know, you know what that means, right? If you let your booty hang out like that in jail, you you don't want to wear that that kind of pant in jail like that with your booty hanging out. Unless you get down like that. You may you may like it. <laughs> it's all love though. Wear what you like. I ain't checking you out. I just I just feel like that's gotta be uncomfortable. So tight, man. Damn, it's gotta be tight. He says he's too fat for him. Where's 501s? That's a booter, booty offering. Yes. And if you go to prison, that's an offering right there. You know? So you got guy. I mean, I remember when it, when it's when your pants hung down just a little bit, right? You see a little bit of the boxes. I've done that myself years ago. I don't know more. But I used to. A little bit. Not crazy, but just a little bit. You see my boxes a little bit. And I didn't even mean it for that to happen. It was just because my the ships would always droop down. I, to be honest with you, I don't I don't really have a, a an ass, you know? So so my pants tend to come down in the back, as is. But when you got people walking out with their pants. And it's literally falling underneath their butt cheeks. And they just walking around like this. That shit is weird to me. It's weird. Super weird. I can't call it. <laughs> I can never, I, I can never understand that. You see the see heads with they full on boxes. You see full on cheeks. And I don't even mean to look at the shit, but I'm walking in the mall. And it ain't in front of me. And I got my kids sometimes with me. And I'm like, I told them, I said, stay away from anyone that wears their pants like that. Anyone that wears their pants like that most likely got is broke and they ain't doing good in life. You can never, I mean, with the ass hanging, stupid, bro. Get out of here. It's nasty. No one see no booty like that. Booty like that? And that's like really, it's just weird. Like that's mad weird. Like, like I think like, I can't even imagine me going out like that and having like my boxers just hanging out with my ass hanging out. Like that's so weird to me. You know, everyone's looking at you like, what the hell is wrong with you? You walking out, walking around with your butt cheeks showing. This shit is mad weird. Does any of y'all do this? 
let me know. I, to, let me know. Do you need some air? Do you like to feel the air out there? Are you like, um, what is that called when people like to do public things? Risque or something? Is, is it some kind of thing where you feel good showing your, your booty out there in public? Because you're basically showing it, right? You just got your drawers. You got your boxers on. You're basically showing everyone your butt. You're showing old ladies your butt. You're showing little kids your butt. I mean, that's some weird stuff, too. Like, just to think, you walking around here, right? You walking around here with your butt showing, and you got little kids seeing your, your butt. Like, that's nasty. That's like some other shit. If, if you really want to dig deep, that's really weird. When, when you walking around with your butt showing, and you got little children in public areas, plus you look like a low life. I'm gonna end up fighting someone next time I go to the mall because they're gonna watch this video and say, "Yo, you got you got a problem." They're gonna square up. I'm gonna say, "Yo, get your ass away from me! Pull your pants up first. If you want to fight? I'm gonna say, if you really want to fight, we can fight, but you gotta pull your pants up, man. I ain't trying to have your butt touch me. It's nasty, bro. You want to put them up? We can fight, but pull your pants up, bro. Tighten your waist. Damn." I don't understand that shit. I never I, I understand if the pants are loose, but straight up booty on the bottom of the butt cheek, the jeans are sitting. So they're literally on your leg. The only time I've ever had my pants below my butt cheeks like that is when I've ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> And I've had to go from one bathroom to the other. And you're like, and there's no one to go grab you the roll of toilet paper. Or there's no one in the house. So you like, you know, you're moving around. You're holding your pants by, you know what I'm saying? You got to go get a roll of toilet paper out of the other bathroom or something like that. I mean, that, that's the only time I could think of walking around with my pants below my butt cheeks. That's the weirdest shit in the world. Weirdest shit in the world. And, and as I said, it's weird to be walking around public like that. All right, I need to move on from this. I don't see anyone. That, Primero wears them for air circulation. So he he wears his pants below his butt, um, right by the grundle area, I guess. And um, he likes to have his stuff air out. People are crazy, man. Let's look at some more sneakers before we go. Hit the thumbs up button if you want me to stay. And feel free to share this. Show that love and support. And if you have any questions or anything you want me to speak about, don't forget we got that super chat. <laughs> Jesus. Man. So, yeah, these, these are incredible. Uh, we got Drake's clothing line also. What the hell? I can't even see this person. This looks crazy. All right, so you got the hoodie, baggy. I'm not mad at the hoodie. Hoodie's chill. This guy got all types of stuff on his face. Ring nose. What's that tattoo say? Henry. Yo, that shit says Henry under his eyes. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. This dude got a weird look about him. You like when someone look at you like that, you can't trust the motherfucker. He look like he make shank you. Yeah, this guy, I don't trust this guy. He's always looking at looking at some. He's like looking. Where the hell is he looking? He's like a lookout. For some beef sticks and Doritos. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not really into the tube steak or beef sticks, but I love Doritos and I will buy some. Thank you so much, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate compliment, man. I see that. I'm like, Good Lord, that's awesome. It's the ult the ultimate compliment. And that guy bring out ultimate effing Dells, man. Man, thank you, brother. Thank you to my dude, D. Blake, Daniel Blake. Dude, I don't know. I think it's just his best friend, man. You know, best friends be doing that, right? Well, none of my best friends do, but sometimes best friends will tattoo their names on their faces. That's what I've heard. I'm just talking stupid. But, yeah, um, a lot of winter wear, definitely winter wear. This reminds me of like old bad boy days, right? Shiny jackets. I can see Diddy wearing this back in the days. Uh, very, very um, Sean John like. Do you see what I'm seeing? Is this Sean John like, or Dells? You are on drugs. You are tripping right now. I see Sean John. Even the sweats, kind of very Sean John. Very Sean John. I used to love Sean John back in the days. I'm not going to lie. I used to wear the velour suits and all that shit, bro. You know? But this this is so Sean John, early 2000s. I could see, you know, maybe even Missy wearing this shit. Or even Diddy wearing this. Mace. Mace, maybe even. So that, that's what I see. This, this is like very Sean John-like. Here's the pants. Gloves. This is this is also very like late nineties. Remember, motherfuckers were wearing gloves and the and the the eye goggles. You young people may not know about that stuff, and y'all don't follow history with hip hop. Most of y'all. You gotta look back, like five, four, three, two, one. The LO Cool J Joy with with um cannabis and DMX and meth and red. They were they were wearing like these damn goggles on their heads. I, like they, they were skiing, but not. Nah, they were just wearing them for fashion. Did I ever wear goggles? Hell no. I was never wearing no damn ski goggles or gloves unless I was shoveling driveway driveways. You know. Because I would always have to shovel a couple people's driveways. I had this old lady across the street. I'd help her shovel her shit. So, you know, I, that's when I'd wear gloves. I wouldn't be wearing gloves with the ski goggles and all that shit. Nah, I wasn't doing all of that shit, man. Socks. So this is a brand new brand with Drake. So there's no owl, no OVO shit. I'm good on the socks. I'm good on everything. I'm good on everything. Let me know what you guys think of Drake's clothing line. Are you buying some of this stuff or no? Ron's alter ego says, Dribble, stop wearing women's skinnies, star boy. With the brewskis. Shout out to Ron's alter ego. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Let's bring out Ultimate Dells to play. All right. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Corey says he also looks suspect, that guy. Let's uh, pull back that. Pause. Let's, let's do that. What the hell is this goof? Where was that Drake shit? Now I can't even find it. 
We'll just go through the comments real quick. What's up, Chappelle? Yeah, it seemed like they were trying, but I could I could swear, I could swear it said Henry on it. I could swear it said Henry on it. I really think it did. Um, let's see, let's see where we are here. West Coast still West the where's the black gloves? Okay. Well, no disrespect to the West Coast. I ain't trying to trying to get y'all mad. Can't believe the LeBron Lakers got pushed back to the 30th. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, but listen, that may throw people off because people are gonna be trying to get those those um Jordan adapts. So that may work out. But you want the Jordan adapts, from my understanding. So you're gonna have to pick which one you're gonna go for first. I, I, you don't like Drake sneakers he put out? I like them. The five, the the excuse me, the tens were dope. Yeah, it looks like Section Eight has invaded the show, but I don't mind. You guys, you guys are showing love back, so that's fine. Y'all have fun. Have your fun here. Women's dunk. How we feel about these women dunks? Looks like it has a translucent, uh, yeah, it does, translucent purple outsole. Eh, Should have just kept it solid. I don't know why they had to do all that shit. Leather looks good, though. Sure does. These are going to release on uh, the 22nd. So if you want them, 22nd. Okay, you got your pair this morning. Dope. For people that are just walking in here, let me show you what the, the Kobe's look like on feet real quick. Let's do this real quick. Just bear with me. Shit. Hold on one sec. Ah! Bang bang. Odd foot look. If you want a little room, you don't want them to fit tight, you gotta go up half a size, I feel like. I like my shoes fitting tight, so I go through the size. So if you have a wide foot, definitely go up half a size. But I love these. I think these are so crazy, especially for the holidays. Give me that IG look, bong bong. IG, bong bong. <laughs> let me know what you think of these. And if you're watching this after Christmas Eve, let me know if you landed a pair of these or not. I hope you did. I hope you did. Subscribe, and you know I gotta hit you with that. Infamous, bird's eye. Phew. So infamous. Oh, I love Christmas so much. I want to see what I need with this room. One night, last night, no more nights. How we feel about that, man? Has Heads having to wear their sneakers out of the store. You think they had a pocket making people do that? Let me know how you feel about all of that. I don't mind it at all. Shit. I don't mind it at all. But curious to know your opinions on all of that. Definitely. I did a review already on these. Check out the review. But uh, I will say I really like them in person. So if you're thinking about buying them, I recommend them. These are really nice in person. Uh, they, they will sell out. Every effing sneaker is selling out. Even the trash shit is selling out. Everything is selling out now. It's amazing. There's a pandemic and, and people are buying sneakers more than ever. Now, these, this is going to be a big deal, of course. We did a whole video covering this. Check that video out. Let's see.
I'm just trying to see. Uh, so they haven't added nothing else on here. Let me see over here, upcoming. These are horrible. Does anyone like this where they literally make the whole effing sneaker a patch? The toe is a patch. The side is the patch. Everything's an effing patch. It's a leather patch. Peel, peel, peel. This is stupid as all hell to me. It look ugly. I think these are horrible looking. Absolutely horrible looking. Look at the back. Maybe some of you like this. Is this garbage? Put some garbage emojis or tell me they garbage or put fire emojis if you're digging them. Maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe I'm out of touch. This is dope right here. Dells, you're out of touch. This shit look horrible to me. If you handed me these, I may hand them right back. It don't even look like a real shoe. It look like someone put pieces of paper and cut it out and just kind of just worked their way around the damn black pair or something. You can see black underneath it. It look horrible. This is horrible. What are they going to do? You know what they're going to do, right? They're going to end up probably making another pair, and then you can mismatch and customize it, right? And 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 peel and, and add a swoosh from another pair or this, that. Unless they come with more pieces when you buy the shoe, but there's nothing advertising that on this. So you're only going to get the white here. But you could also paint the pieces, I guess. But it looks sloppy. It's gonna, it's not gonna look perfect when it's sitting on that Velcro. So it's gonna look like shit, in my opinion. It's gonna look horrible. Yeah, they it look crazy. A piece of crap. <laughs> oh man. Carla's alter ego, you sure do be. I'd pay to see that one-sided match. Okay, I'm... Dude, this is good. Oh, E-40 versus Jay-Z. Jay-Z would spank E-40. Come on, bro. E-40 versus Two Short is going to be dope, though. Who will win? Who's going to win E-40 versus Two Short? Will Two Short win? Or is this going to be a tough one to call? Let me know who you got, E-40 or Too Short. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the chat. I'm curious to know who you got. Who you betting on? Dude, these things are horrible, Corey. They horrible. These things are just... They're going to sell out, though. You think? Let me ask you all this, too. Are they, you think these Jordan ones will, I'm not Jordan ones, Air Force ones will sell out? Sorry, I'm dyslexic as all hell. Really? I didn't know that. Too short. He got his money on too short. I think too short got some, got more bangers. Um, E40's the man, though. He is the man. And I'll tell you what song is crazy, what new song from E-40 is so fire. I would play it right now. I'm even just talking about it. Like, I got goosebumps. That's how much I love music. If you never heard the Jeezy E-40 record, the ghetto, oh, my God. That song is sick. The beat, the song, listen to that new Jeezy E-40 record. Woo! They need to shoot a video to that, man. That that song is fire. I don't know if y'all know what song I'm talking about, but if you never heard the the G the Jeezy, young Jeezy, well, Jeezy, he goes by Jeezy now. He's not young no more. He's just straight up Jeezy or Big Snow, he's being called now, right? Jeezy featuring E40 is so fire. Probably the best song off his new album. That new CNN dog pound? I didn't hear that shit. How did I not hear this? Oh, I need to listen to that. I need to listen to that. Alexa, set a reminder in one hour. Listen to the new CNN Dog Pound song. 
Thank you. Yeah, got to get that Alexa, boy. Alexa's the best. I'm going to do a raffle on this Alexa right here because I'll be talking about Alexa all the time. And we have a link if you're looking to buy an Alexa. I, this is like a must-have in every household. If you guys are interested in a raffle on this, you let me know. We'll probably do $5 per entry for that raffle. Alexa's, this is a major key, bro. This is, you got to have this in your house. Oh, so you like them. Okay, that's good. I'm, see, listen, that's what it is. It's an opinion show. I want to hear opinions just because I wrote, yo, she takes notes. She does it all, bro. Big fan of her. One of my best friends. Alexa and Pequeno One. <laughs> yeah, bro. She takes notes. She does it. She anything you, you need her to do, like as far as information, reminders, she does it all. Best shit ever, bro. Plays music. So, you know, in an in an hour, I'm gonna forget because I don't think I'll be streaming for another hour. Um if super chats come the way it works, super chats come in. I stay, is I keep going. It's coins in the meter, we call that for people new here. Um, but we're here already an hour. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm, I I got to hear that song because I'm a big fan of both of those guys. Um, and I've met all of them. I've hung out. I've actually hung out with all those guys. Um, you know, Capone. I've actually done a mixtape with Capone. I did a mixtape with Dog Pound, which got on MTV, too, which was pretty cool. You could probably listen to it. Just search, you know, Capone DJ Dells or, or, or search Dog Pound DJ Dells. Um, check that stuff out. They're old, you know, when I used to go hard with it. Sneaker in the stream was really, we just really just showed um, these shoes. But I would say sneaker the stream since, you know, this would be sneaker the stream right here, which are amazing. And I did do an on foot review. So watch it. It was yesterday's video. Plus, we had a sneaker collection vid too. It was like a live. So we're going to be doing on foots live now because all I do is pre record the on foot and then we go live after. No one want to watch reviews no more. No one. Want, I do a review. I sit and I edit it for like um, for an hour. I'm doing all types of effing work. And it, it, it's a waste of my time. The, the, the video gets no views. I go live, the video gets views. So we go live now. That's it. That's all we doing. We just going live now, man. After the pre-recorded shit. I, I could re pre-record segments, and it's great, too. Like, if I wanted to show you guys on foot real quick, I just press a button. Ah! Bang, bang. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if I want to show you the, the app mode, I mean, not the app mode, the, the ambush. You know what I mean? I could just press buttons, man. We could do a pick one battle right now. We live doing this. Live, baby. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs it up. Give you that that IG vibe. <laughs> the IG pose. Let me know what sneaker you like better, the fire reds. You like the five or the, or the four better? You know I gotta hit you with that infamous birds up you one Good Lord, that's awesome. Technology, I love it. More into that's what I'm saying, man. I love the lives. The thing is, bro, the the um the re the reviews they don't perform well. I don't want to do a damn review and and it's not getting any views. You know what I'm saying? I did like four reviews last week and the view count sucks. I go live, the view counts are pretty decent. You know, I mean, I would like more, but um, shit, it is what it is. So Chris likes the five more than the four. G likes the fire red four more. Um, Big Perm likes the four over the five. All right. I mean, it, it's a tough decision. We live doing this. Live. Like, it's a tough decision. Rock with them both. Four is better than the fives always. Um, I do love the black cement fives, though. 
undefeated. Yeah, black cements are fire, dude. Um, I like the five, the model of the five better than the four. I'm gonna be honest with you. Black tongue is man, they gotta bring back that black tongue with Nike Air on the back. That would be sick, dude. That would be sick. I would love to see that, man. Those are sick. <laughs> Lives get more messy, and um, and it's what grown men want. <laughs> it's just it's more interactive, you know. I mean, I could give you the best of both worlds if we go live and I show you the on foot. And are people doing that, um, where they show on foots first and then they go live right after? I I don't know if anyone ever does that, but um, you know, we're gonna do that here because they always perform well, man. They always perform well. Because I could tell you what the leather is like on this live. And then if you have a question, I could answer it. If you're like, well, how do you feel about the rubber on this? Is it fragile? Is it going to snap on you? Like, we could talk about it live. Um, we can interact. Plus, I could give you a, a, a nice shot of them on feet because that's what people want, right? They want either information on the sneaker or they want the on foot. You're not lame for that. Listen, I love making the, the filmed videos. I love that. But I got to do what's going to work right because there's nothing worse than putting two, three hours of your day and then, um, you know, nothing nothing's coming out of it. There's no view count. That sucks. Like, that's the worst. I did a review on the Penny 3. So many people wanted the Penny 3 review on foot. I gave a kick-ass on foot look, kick-ass review, and the view count sucks. So please watch that video. That would make my day. And I gave you all the bird's eye view, but I could give you the bird's eye view live like I did today too. Lives are more interactive and real. It's not cookie cutter. Be That's what it is, man. And it's a lot less um, editing, you know. Well, I could give you sound effects here live. That's what I like about it too, you know? Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Like I got all types of buttons I can press now, which is dope. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole thing. I, I like it. It's kind of like a radio show. That's how I look at it. It's a live radio show. But, it, but you know, you could visually see me and the sneakers. So, you know, everyone listens to audio and video live now through the internet. So like even like radio shows dead, TV is dead. Everyone wants either YouTube or if they want to watch a TV show, they watch it on Netflix and Hulu. Like I think it's crazy that some people still have cable. I think cable's a waste of money. Like just buy the Hulu pack, the live TV, everything's basically there and buy Netflix and you, you straight instead of blowing all your money. Yeah, you watch the Penny 3 review. I do, I, I do try to do the early looks still, though, because – and I do them at the store. You know, like, I'll have people hit me up, like, yo, Dells, if you want to come through to the store, we got the brand new da-da-da. So I'll come through. Like, that's what I did with the uh, Jordan 11 and the, the Jordan um, the Jordan 13 that's coming out, that, that um, Royal joint. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the Penny, I did, like – I bought the shoe, did a review on that. I did a review on the – the hell is it? The ice cream Iversons. So you know it's dope. Yeah, it sure did, man. It sure did. He says, but once you interact, is all for entertainment. I mean, everything I do is for entertainment. I do the reviews for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And to help y'all, but I also do it for entertainment. But I still feel like my lives are in, I'm giving information. I feel like you're still getting a lot of information from me when you watch the lives. Um, we do joke around here, which is a lot of fun too, you know? But um, I think that you get the best of both worlds on, on the lives. Yeah. Yeah, cable. Ca yeah, you, you know what? I I just noticed on um on uh Netflix they raised the price on Netflix again. I mean, are they basically like put up or shut up? Well, yeah, everyone has a podcast now. You know, 
Um, I have a podcast on my Patreon, but it's now basically a live stream, and I also extract the audio so you can listen to it on my Patreon. If you have nothing to contribute to podcasts or streams, just consume, just consume and enjoy. Yeah. Infotainment. Yeah, well, you know, because look, all of my streams have a topic, right? They all have a topic. So when you tune into my stream, I get to the meat and potatoes. We go right to the main course of what we're going to talk about. So when people click on it, like this video here, as soon as people click on it, they see the on foot of the Grinch. That's what they clicked on. And if they decided to hang out after with me, then dope. Some of you've hung out and we're hanging out right now. We're kicking it, chilling. You know what I'm saying? And and some people are like, yo, I don't give a shit about this damn weirdo, you know, talking about jeans and all types of stuff. Um, you know, walking because there's no toilet paper and walking weird to the crouching to the next toilet uh, bathroom to get toilet paper. <laughs> like, like people don't want to watch that, but some people want to think that's funny and they want to hang out. You know what I mean? Um, hey, good to see you, man. Appreciate you. So, I, so I enjoy it, and especially now with nowadays, uh, everything is all shut down again. So this is this is a way this is a way to even communicate to people, you know? Um, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys don't even get to see some people you used to see all the time because it's damn pandemic and all that crap. So it's nice to just be able to chill, crack jokes. You know what I mean? Just have some fun here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love that pop up. I've been watching Dexter like crazy. I've been watching Dexter. We're talking about Netflix, man. I can't believe I didn't give Dexter a chance, man. I just started watching it like a month and a half ago. When I see this guy, I think of Topps World. I was kidding with Topps. I told him the other day. That's why I have this photo. I said, Topps, that's going to be you in a couple of years, bro. <laughs> if you watch Netflix, you know what I'm talking about. And, and he's one of my favorite characters on the show, too. Jesus, what up, my guy? Dells, why Nike wouldn't retro the, the good phone posits? Yeah, you, you know what phone posits I want to see them bring back is the UNC pros, like, or the mochas. I don't get why why they do that, man. That's whack. That's real whack. Oh, whoa, let's go look at this real quick. And that's what I like about going live because I, I could – you know, go on my face, my Twitter, excuse me, my Twitter and all that stuff and start seeing stuff. Look, this is an image of um, these damn sneakers, bro, that will be releasing these lightnings. Shout out to Z Sneakerhead Z, man. Always giving us good stuff. I don't go to websites no more except the sneakeraddict.com or I go on Instagram. I don't go to Complex. Complex is old news or Soul Collector. I don't go to them damn sites. So these Lightnings, man, th this is a shoe that is a special one, released in August 7th, 2021. Retail is going to be 220 on these. Um, that's just, Why do they got to be 220 And I'm pretty sure they're not going to have Nike Air on the back. Dude, Dexter is so good, man. I Like, I just can't believe. That. But you know what? It's dope that I'm late to it because then I'm able to, I don't have to wait till next week. I would go crazy if I had to wait till next week for the next episode. I I feel for y'all that watch that live, like, from the beginning. That dude, Arthur, that situation was nuts with Arthur. From Henry and the Hendersons, that dude. And then they had that girl in there from the last dance. What was that? Was it the last dance? The girl who was the dancer girl? She was like this. That one scene looking all corny and shit. Like I just did. I think the best so far that I've seen was the storyline with his brother. And then the Arthur stuff was insane. The other stuff with that Jordan guy, it was okay. It was good. But the Arthur stuff was intense, man. That was intense. And, and that's as far as I've got when he when Jordan went 
bye bye. And the sister had them downstairs in the house. I thought this. I thought um Dexter was gonna finally get pinched. You know, get exposed when he was with that girl. But she felt so bad for her. You know what I'm saying? She felt terrible, so she let them go. I was like, and I had a feeling that was gonna happen. And then you see what he did with the with the blood on the boot, with um I forgot his name, when the blood dripped down from the truck hit his boot. And then Dexter was doing the the um he was checking the blood and you know he, he switched it up. He said it didn't match. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's so good. You know when I watched the first episode, I was like, all right, it's all right. But you gotta give you gotta go like three episodes deep and then that's it. You're finished. You're finished. You're going to watch. You're just, just going to binge watch it. It's about this guy who works in the police force in Miami, and he does the blood work. So if there's like a murder or something like that, he goes to the scene and he inspects everything and does all of that stuff. But he also, he's lived a screwed up childhood. So he's also this serial killer that he's like a vigilante, though. He only goes for bad people. So it's like. It's a crazy show. You got to watch it. It's like, it's got its elements of like law and order in it, but then it's got that craziness, serial killer type stuff with it too. So um, I, I think it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's an amazing show. It's, to me, it's up there with Breaking Bad, um, the earlier seasons of The Walking Dead, you know. Yes. Great way to, to put it together. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah, I, I love this show. Like I'm on episode, I'm on season six now. Season six now. Never you probably don't like yellow sneakers. Is that is that it? Maybe that's why. Because I, I love black and yellow. I love black and yellow. It's one one of my favorite combinations. Hey, what's up, Tom? Imagine um, if Batman was hacking up the people. That, oh, my God. Oh, man. All right, y'all. I think we're going to get up out of here, guys. Um, I'll go last call for Super Chats. If you have anything you want me to talk about, leave it now. If not, we're going to break up out of here. I had fun. I hope you did. Uh, don't forget, guys, we have my newest design, my new T-shirt. Pick one up. They're dope. You're going to get a lot of compliments. That's for sure. We have other T-shirts, of course. We have tons of them. Different links will bring you to different sites that have some that are more exclusive than others. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else we got here. My social media, follow my social media, especially my Twitter. I'm always posting restocks on my Twitter. Sneakers for under retail. I always try to focus on great deals. Like that's a major key right there. Um, and yeah, that's all the plug. Oh, by the way, these are on sale 20% off. I should have a link in the description. So if you're looking for that, pick that up. The UV flashlights people love, that's linked in the description too. People keep asking me. That's toward the bottom. And I also have my P.O. box. If anyone ever wants to send me anything, I got the P.O. box. Um, so, you know, we put that back up because people have been wanting to send some stuff. When's the next battle? Um, I don't know when the next battle is. We're going to try Friday. Um, I don't know if Chill Town and Matt want to want to battle if they can, maybe we'll do that. They were supposed to last week, but something got delayed. So, um, I would love that. So if Chill Town is, I think Chill Town's in here. Let me know if you if you want to battle or maybe you, you're tired of battling because you've been battling a lot lately or never the case. Uh, maybe we'll do the battle a little later because I know with your time, like seven's a little tricky. I'll work around your, your time. But we'll definitely go live on Friday night and hopefully, people usually come through. It's usually a good time. Brandon, thank you for the super chat, my friend, putting coins in the meter. You already know, bro. Super Chats keep the, this thing going. So we're going to rock out a little longer. That's for sure, man. Let me hit you with that ultimate Dells, Brandon, because that's the ultimate effing compliment. Bong, bong.
What's good is Brandon. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. And I, I appreciate you checking out all the content, man, for real. Hey, let me talk to you all about this. Has anyone shopped over at eBay yet and um, dealt with this new verification? You see now when you get the shoe, this is what you get. So essentially you just tap it with your phone. Hey. And it gives you the authentication code. It takes you to the site, which is eBay. Pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. You think that uh, people are going to start shopping over at eBay a little bit more often now? I think so, man. I do think so. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. What's good, everyone? Let's see something. Let's see something. Okay, oh, so check out these two. How we feel about these shoes? I like this shoe right here, this four, but I don't like the tag on it. The tag it bothers me. The tag freaking, what the hell you had to do that sh for, man? Why you got to do that, man? This is the perfect case of Jordan brand, always doing too much. Y'all always do too much, man. Ooh, wow. How much did you buy him for, man? Whew. Sounds like a price tag that I don't want to even know about. But if you want to share, let us know. I was disappointed how they verify shoes. It's just some um, randos looking at them for a few minutes. But that's the whole thing. Who the hell is these experts? Bring these people from China that are making the sneaker Hire one of them that, that used to work in the factories. They'll tell you and, and, and take care of them. Pay them good. You know, take care of them. Make them happy. And they, they'll, they'll spill the beans. Got a super chat that came in from the dude, Bronx Kicks for Life. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to the Fordham Road. Shout out to the Grand Concourse. Shout out to the whole BX. Love y'all for real. Ultimate compliment brings out ultimate delts. What's good is Bronx kicks for life. That's what's good. Thank you. He likes the tag. Okay, well, some people like it. Dope, bro. Yeah, cam up when you get them. Show them off, man. They're sneaker con. Oh, God. I just don't know what makes people experts, you know? That is awesome, though. Congratulations. I have those shoes. They're amazing. They're amazing sneakers. Let's see these. Now, these I really like, too, a lot. I like these, man. I love the five. The five is a fresh pair of kicks. It's a little bulky. The bulky sneakers really got that old school vibe to me, that 90s vibe. I, I, I love this sneaker. Leather looks crazy. Look like a damn dinosaur's knuckle. See, the side view of this is gorgeous. This, this is some fly shit right here. Definitely some fly shit. I like them. Make sure, guys, to smash that thumbs up button. I be forgetting all the time when I watch videos sometimes. So just got to remind y'all, hit the thumbs up. Share the video. Thank you so much, too, for real. It's a live show. We got to get good ratings. It's just like a TV show. I treat this as a TV show, a radio show. UNC fours are way better than the fives, in his opinion. Okay. They cool, but I'm a pass. Those fives are okay. If it wasn't for the pandemic season, they'd be in the outlets. Yeah, so what do you think? It's just people still got extra cash, extra mozzarella, extra cheddar. Is that, the, is that what the deal is? 
These are dope. These are really nice. I passed on them, but I really like them. I really, really like these shoes. I just, I bought too many sneakers this year. I got a few pairs of sneakers I bought I regret having. I want to sell them now. I got the um the PSG Jordan 4 size 9. If anyone wants to buy off me, let me know. All right? Hit me up on my Instagram or Twitter. And then we got these joints. We'll watch this real quick. <laughs> they cool. I don't know. I, I I was so excited when I first seen them. I was jumping out the effing window for them. I think the reason why is because I know they're going to come out with another colorway. So I'm not going to buy this for $500. And then they come out with the Space Jam. And I'm like, oh, I got to buy the Space Jam. But meanwhile, I have these right here, you know? It's kind of like if you at, you at a, um, a lounge or a bar or something, you go in early. You're there at 10 o'clock. You see something that you may want to get busy with. But you know there's there's something else coming through that door that's going to be a lot better than that. So you ain't even going near it. Not yet, at least. You know, you kind of just falling back a little. That's how I feel about this. I feel like we good here on this one. Coway, you know, it's like you you know they're coming out with them space jammies or some, some concords. I'm going to go with them concords. Yeah, size nine. And I did try them on. I did try them on. I, they're the shoes that were on the review. So, I mean, they're clean. I, I don't even think I wore them outside. I wore them like I literally did the review by my table, threw them on my feet, did it on footwork, put them back in the box, and I never wore them again. So they're basically new. I think I even cleaned that the bottom of it after, too. So I'm not going to tell you they're DS. They, I did throw them on my feet, but... What you may think is cool too. That was actually, you know, there was a review on it. He says he's changed his mind. Didn't like them, but I agree. They're cool, just not for me. Same here. Shit, what's going on here? Ty says I agree with that statement. Shout out to my dude Ty Woods World. Okay. All right, let's see. And it, this is interesting. He did a comparison here. I don't think these hold any weight next to these these bread playoff flu games, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Okay. All right, guys, we got to end this stream. Because my son has taken a poop, so I gotta I gotta leave. I it's my turn to change the diaper. It's what happens when you're a dad. So I'm out of here. I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. If you enjoyed this show, um, make sure to hit the thumbs up. We have Cash App. You want to send a dono after? I always will shout you out, answer your question on the next show. Uh, we did the on foot look at these, so watch that. From the beginning, I showed you the on foot a bunch of times. And um, I got to get out of here. I got to go um, do something that I hate doing. But what are you going to do? This is what happens when you're a daddy. Love y'all. For real. Have a great day. Congratulations to everyone that got the...